Hi, welcome back. It's so good to have you. <coughs> Hi, welcome. <coughs> welcome back to the. <sighs> welcome back to the fuck. Hi. No. I'm going to take you through exactly what I do for shoulders, the type of exercises I'll typically do, the set and rep ranges, the level of intensity that you should be training at, and I'll show you how to get the most out of the least amount of weight. So leave the ego at the door, let the muscles do the work. Remember, you're a bodybuilder, not a weightlifter. Can I talk to the camera? Yeah, it's pretty loud in here. This TV. I love my daytime soaks. Most shoulder workouts are about four exercises and I'll do my isolating exercises before any presses. I will usually include an overhead press of some sort, but I'll do that as like the second or third or even fourth exercise after I've pre-fatigued that muscle group. It takes away any additional stress to the joints and ligaments. One very important thing to note, if you, like me, are actively trying to lose body fat and you're feeling a little bit skinny, make sure you wear a pump cover, okay? And then once you've got your pump going, reveal your true authentic self. Let's get into the first exercise. Lateral raises is gonna be the first exercise. What I see a lot of people do when they do a lateral raise is pick a weight that's too heavy. You know, and you see a lot of swinging action going on. Reduce the weight, you know, you might think 14 kilos, 12 kilos, 10 kilos, surely that's light enough. No, so I've got six kilos here. That's how heavy I'm going on my first set of lateral raises. Do one to two warm sets, no more than five sets total, working upward in weight if you can. Lean forward slightly. Don't fixate too much on how your wrist is positioned. You don't need to be rotating your wrist so that your pinky sit the ceiling. You don't need to be doing that just so long as you're focused on constant tension so that you're not swinging the weight and that you're not relaxing at the bottom in between your reps. That first warm up set is typically around 20 reps. I wanna get as much blood into the muscle as possible. If you're struggling on a light weight to hit say 20 reps or more, you don't need to increase the weight. The rep ranges for shoulders, I would recommend to be anywhere between sort of 12 and 20 reps. Anything on like an isolating exercise for shoulders that's below eight reps, I don't recommend. did a couple of warm-up sets where I was aiming for about 20 reps per set. Third and fourth set of like 15 reps where I upped the weight a little bit. This is gonna be the last set. This set is gonna be to all out failure. Once it gets too heavy or I start to lose form, I'm gonna drop the weight. It's going to create a sensational burn in the muscle. That's the first exercise down, five sets. I kept the rest periods pretty short, 30 to 45 seconds. Tried to maintain constant tension on that last set. I did a drop set. So rather than swinging the weight up, losing form, I just dropped the weight for a total of about 20 reps. All right, we're gonna do a rear delt fly. Sometimes I'll do dumbbells, sometimes I'll do cables. Uh, do whatever you feel hits that rear delt best and make certain you're not engaging the back too much and pick a weight that you can perform 15 plus reps with. You don't want to be going too heavy on any of these isolating movements.
feel the contraction before you release. Even hold it for half a second. Feels good. Four sets, so we're gonna do a total of five. This is my last set. I still did, even on this, I did two warm-up sets. On this exercise, much like the lateral raises, I'm gonna do a drop set again. I might even drop it twice and try and hit a total of sort of 15 to 20 reps. Hopefully that gives you a good indication of how intensely you should take those working sets. This is the third exercise. I'm gonna do seated behind the head shoulder presses. I'm not gonna do as many sets on this, probably just four sets. I'll do one warm-up set and then sort of two to three working sets. And I'm not, I'm not trying to lift a ridiculous amount of weight. The last thing I want, which I've never had, is a shoulder injury. And I think this is part of the reason why I don't push for weight in the gym. I'm trying to get the most out of the least amount of weight. And by that I mean getting a full contraction, really contracting the shoulder as much as possible. And taking each exercise through a complete range of motion, you'll find if your range of motion is limited, sure you can you can push more, but in the off chance that you accidentally take that exercise to a slightly deeper range of motion with that heavy weight that you're trying to press is then when you're going to incur injury. Exercise through a complete range of motion, making sure I let the bar touch my trap. I got a good solid contraction on the way up. You notice too the tempo, there's a lot of time under tension. So I don't feel like I need to go any heavier. I was only getting about eight reps when I thought I would get about 10 to 12. And in that instance, don't increase the weight. You know, if you're only hitting about eight to 10 reps, leave the weight as is on any exercise of any muscle group. If you're going underneath sort of seven to eight reps, you're not bodybuilding at that point. You have gotta ask yourself what the goal is. If the goal is to gain muscle, do away with the one rep maxes, do away with trying to press as much weight as possible. I know it might feel good and it's that instant reward of, oh, I hit a new PR or PB, whatever it might be, but if you're long-term goal is to gain muscle, it is completely unnecessary.
Right. One more exercise. Mm -hmm. By the way, put your weights away. It's not difficult, okay? No, really? It frustrates me. It says a lot about how considerate you are for the next person that's going to use that piece of equipment. It could be poor old Susie that comes and uses it next and she might not be able to take the weight off in order to even use it. Be considerate. This is gonna be the last exercise. I'm gonna do dumbbell shrugs. Um, sometimes I'll do maybe like an upright row, or what I really like to do on the cables is sort of like these cross body um, cable raises, which are very underrated. I feel like it hits your shoulder entirely. Again, don't go, don't go crazy heavy on your first set. Warm up the muscle appropriately, and then increase the weight. So. You can do, if you need to, do upward of five, six sets. Um, go up the weight once you feel the muscle is adequately warmed up. You've taken it through a full stretch and a full contraction, uh, and it feels like it can handle the weight that you're trying to give it, the, the weight load that you're trying to give it. If you pick up a super heavy weight before it's warmed up, baby, you are asking for a tear. Now, what a lot of people say is don't round your shoulders into this exercise, keep your body upright and do this sort of thing. I get the best stretch and contraction in my traps when my shoulders and upper back are rounded a little bit. You might feel a better stretch and contraction keeping your shoulders back, keeping your, your shoulders neutral, or keeping them forward. This is what I prefer. This is what I'm gonna do. I've done three sets. I'm just gonna do one more for a total of four sets. The first three sets were sort of between 15 to 20 reps. This last set is gonna be about 15 reps. I don't go too low on the rep range for traps either. I've found that's what's given me the most amount of trap progress over the years. Again, getting a full stretch, full contraction and lessening the weight a little bit. You can't get a spot on this exercise. So what I do once I start losing form is just do a few partial reps to completely exert the muscle. By the way, I have incrementally increased the weight each set. But I'm not going super heavy, it's only about 28 kilos. That's it. That concludes today's shoulder session. I'll meet you outside to hit a few poses, as is tradition. Got it.